What's going on guys? So today we're going to be viewing what is considered to be Bullet Premier's number one selling floor plan for couples. 35 feet, 11 inches of total length, model number 30 RIPR. We are going to start on the inside first, going over its different features before we head outside. Continue showing your support by leaving comments of these different makes and models that we show you. If you're new here, we welcome you to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Look how quick the weather has changed. In a matter of 30 minutes, this has already started to come this way. But we're still going to attempt to show you the inside of this coach first. Let's take a look at some of the numbers before we head inside. Maybe the inside will cut down a lot of this wind. Unloaded vehicle weight 7,210. Gross vehicle weight rating 8,200. Riding on 4,400 pound axles. Resting on D-rated tires. Camper's going to be 96 inches wide with a hitch weight of 865 pounds and i really do hope you guys can hear me right now so let's quickly get inside the weather is really starting to pick up so maybe we'll be able to get finished first inside before we head out maybe we'll be able to beat the rain and of course coming standard on all keystone products is that solar flex 200 and you're gonna be looking at today model number three zero ripr 35 feet, 11 inches of total length. And you've got right at 16 feet of walking space found in your living area on this model here. Kitchen island in the middle of the darker colors. I like how they do the darker colors, setting off some of the contrast. Slide box height on this model right at five foot seven. So if you are taller, just be really mindful of that. I was coming in earlier to open up some of these shades and just by reaching in, I found the top of this the hard way. So just be mindful of that. It's a little bit shorter five foot seven slide boxes. Camper's gonna have Thomas Paine collection furniture and these are both theater seats. No carpet found anywhere in the bullet model. More of a kind of a swag material woven I should say. More of a woven material in your slide floor there. 81 inch ceiling height and check out the ceilings how you got the full radius ceiling. They've also have trimmed it out nicely with those darker strips separating all those individual white panels. Coming around to your entertainment side, this slide pretty much reminds me that of a smaller little, little condo. It's not too bad, it's pretty cozy. 50 inch LED TV, electric fireplace. You can turn that heat off and just utilize the lights to assist with whoever may be sleeping on this sleeper sofa found on the back. I will in fact open that up closer towards the end as well, letting you see how much sleeping room you really do have. Let's see if we can keep these open and keep an eye on this weather that's coming in. Trees are starting to move a little bit, but not too bad. I think we're fine inside. Camper's going to have solid surface countertops in your kitchen area. It does have this pop-up outlet. Stainless steel single basin drop-in sink. And this is something different for all of my viewers that have continued to watch me over the last year. We normally listen to the Coleman Mach air conditioners. This camper's outfitted with a GE. So you've got a 15K found on the back with a 13.5 directly in the bedroom. The air conditioner will be ducked all the way down, but the one that's found in the master bedroom up there, it's just gonna be utilized for cooling that bedroom area. You come around to your pantry. Glass accent on your pantry here, double door pantry. And on the other side of this will be all the controls plus a coat closet lo located closer towards the door. Your traditional size RV oven, and you don't have the matching drawer, but you do have a large size pull-out drawer down here that does match as the rest of the counter. Excuse me, the cabinet space. Cabinets. A little tongue twisted right now. Furion microwave, stainless steel. That's pretty nice. And speaking of stainless steel, 12-volt refrigerator by GE. So GE air conditioners, GE appliances. 10.7 cubic foot. This does work off the battery while you're in transit. Plus, in addition to this, you do have that smaller refrigerator that's gonna be found on the outside with the outdoor camp kitchen. Coming up to the master bedroom, this camper's gonna be outfitted with a queen size bed. You do have a hanging closet on the left and the right. 
Notice the second air conditioner. Second 13.5 air conditioner, only designed to be dumping all of its air into this main area. But notice the vent. That vent is gonna be coming from that main air conditioner found up there. If you did decide to mount a television in the bedroom, it's gonna be mounted to this wall here. You're gonna be looking at maybe 24 inches. Your TV connections are located up on the ceiling next to the air conditioner. If you have a CPAP machine, there is a shelf provided for you. Plus, you do have one additional outlet. Notice that yellow sticker that is included in that inverter loop. So standard on all Keystone products this year is the new Solar Flex 200. There is a 200 watt solar panel pre-installed on every Keystone product. 81 inch ceiling height in the camper. And here in your bathroom, you've got a 34 by 34 full radius shower. Once you're in the shower, you're gonna have a ceiling height right there to the skylight of six foot three, but it's still doable. It's, there's plenty of room to move around. You do have about a 12 inch step up to get into the shower, but it does go down a little bit, creating kind of a little smaller tub. Corner foot flush toilet. And I just love the pass through bathroom area. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up in this full sleeping arrangement and still see if we can't get outside and beat some of this rain that's coming. I'm gonna head and lay flat to sleep yourself and to show you, you could possibly sleep maybe upwards of four people comfortably or maybe not. It really is considered to be the perfect travel trailer for couples. At date and time I'm making a video, MSRP on this model, the $64,399. For pricing and availability, I always leave a link in my description taking you back to my website so you can view more additional photos as well. Continue to like and subscribe, leave your comments, tell me just what you think. This is where you end your videos. Thank you for sticking around. I think we can beat it. Coming at you 35 feet, 11 inches of total length, 96 inches wide, 11 feet, four inches to the highest point. Camper's gonna be stabilized from a four point electric leveling system. That yellow tab down there identifying the front set of leveling jacks and I'll point out the set in the rear as we make our way around. But all the controls to operate them will be located inside this front storage compartment, which by the way, held up from that plastic clip. Located right over there, I call that a docking station. You will have the set of controls to operate the front and the rear. Water connections, sewer connections, everything located in here, nicely organized, easy to read. Front pass-through storage compartment, and that is the monitoring station for that Solar Flex 200, which by the way, that's gonna be it located up there, that nice, big, 200 watt solar panel sending over a charge right now just to keep the house battery charged you do have this electric tongue jack and i like this material here found on a lot of travel trailers they'll put more of a sheet metal but you've got a rhino liner spray and liner built into this painted front cap and look how bullet brings back this seam almost a good four inches preventing that water from really penetrating front pass-through storage compartment that's gonna be that laundry chute that I showed you from the inside pegboard which is really nice you can maybe organize your stuff that you do put inside of here camper does have a fully enclosed underbelly campers riding on 4400 pound axles 17 foot awning and look at the difference when your awning is over the slide you do lose a bit a little bit of your awning space but the slide out on this coach is only right at 24 inches. So you're not really sacrificing that much awning space. Camper's gonna be outfitted with a really cool entertainment center. Miniature fridge, more of a pull out cooking space. I did not locate a quick disconnect for LP. So that would be one thing I think that they could improve on by, is by adding that. Take a look at the LED lights under the awning. The door will have a friction hinge plus a screen door. Coming around to the back of the coach, blind side camera prep, you do have this rear mounted ladder, 250 pound low capacity on the rear mounted ladders. This is the 50 amp coach. 
The power connections will be located on the back and it's going to be provided with about a 25 foot power cord. Your cables again, Scar, your slides are cable driven slides. Both of them are the same. Sewer connections on this model, you do have two and they're both going to be located in front of those tires, which is nice. I don't like to see the ones that are set up with their sewer connections behind it. It sends up road debris causing damage to these pull handles. But to set the coach up completely in unison, you will need possibly three different sewer lines and your gray handles and black handles are labeled on each one of those. That's gonna be the gray right over here. So show your support by liking and leaving some comments. We do appreciate, appreciate you guys thinking around this long in the video. And I'm glad we got to beat the weather that's coming in. Like, subscribe, leave us some comments. Come see us.